Welcome to my weekly spiel. Welcome to my weekly spiel. Yada yada blah blah blah. Yada yada blah blah blah. It's time for Margaret's weekly spiel. Greetings and salutations. This is Margaret Franklin of Margaret Franklin Creations. Looking at a blank wall because this in within the next day or so I hope to transform because I have a collection of plates I'm going to hang up. And I have to look for a hammer. I know where the nails are. Anyway, a lot's been happening. I've been busy as a buzzy bee. And I have almost finished Laura's quilt. I've Yesterday what happened was I was early for my craft group at CMAJ, but I was a tad disgruntled because I left my embroidery at home. And if I'm going to be there three quarters of an hour early, I want to have something to do with my hands. Anyway, I turned around and went home because I'm not going to sit there an hour early with nothing to do. And so I tackled the annoying cat job of clearing the dining room table. I'm sorry it was such a mess around here. Yesterday was Dave's birthday and I got him this stereo. And it came in this here box. And I, I tend to keep boxes because I like, I use them to mail stuff in. Especially if I have more orders. And I'm almost done quilting the first half, first row of this quilt. You can see the amazing selection of nautical fabrics that I have. I'll probably finish this around Halloween and I'll take a picture of it on Jeanette's bed because it's bigger than mine. And I'm hoping it would be okay with Laura if I hold on to it for a couple more weeks so I can show it to the ladies of the Quilters Guild. And I'm hoping to have Royal Summit's quilt finished by Christmas if I'm lucky. This, I, this is the latest square on his quilt. Isn't that butterfly amazing for his granddaughter Zinnia? Yesterday was Dave's birthday. I gave him that stereo. We... We were supposed to go out for supper with his dad and Marnie, but his dad has COVID. At least I know he's feeling a bit better now. I hope he fully recovers as I have. COVID is no fun. Although I have to admit when I had it, it's not. it wasn't the sickest I've been or the worst I've felt. I think I, I suffered more mentally because I, I know I was... I had a lot of anxiety on the way home because my flight was delayed six hours and my connection had to be rerouted and I lost my luggage in the process and I, I've told you the story before it did come eventually two days later at about one in the morning it's a good thing my husband likes to stay up late watch TV and whatever because he was there to answer the call but, of course, they almost went away without leaving my luggage because they were waiting at the side door. He was waiting at the front. Why does everyone go to the side door? They're not going to... like the. That's not where the buzzer is. You can't get in through the side door without a key. If you're in the front door, at least you, you use the buzzer. Anyway, a similar thing happened this past week. I am... I have a purple Christmas tree. It's in the closet at the moment. It's bound up really tight in a box with tons of tape. It arrived all the way from China. Jeanette showed me screenshots of that trip's convoluted journey. It had to go down through the States and it was in Alaska for a while. It took about a week to get here. And the day that it was supposed to arrive, they didn't deliver it because they said they hadn't received duty uh, payment for it. And Jeanette was just frantic. She was beside herself with worry, just freaking out. And it, I, I was frustrated. I'm, I feel so helpless when she's really upset. So I was relieved when the tree came yesterday, just when Dave was saying, oh, it's probably never going to come. But it came, and I am more relieved for her sake. She, she's got nothing to panic about anymore. And... I think she was more worried about this whole thing than I was. Probably because she's the one who placed the order. But I owe her money. So I'm hoping that I'll have a few big sales between now and the new year.
I hope that I'll have Raw Summit's quilt finished and I will be starting on an armored horse quilt for Tracy and an Alan Herschel quilt for for uh, Reno and Clay for the Carousel of Smiles. Anyway, what else is new? Last night, Dave and I watched Kiss the Second Coming. I never get tired of that video. I, I was having a really crazy dream the night before last that Dave and I were living at my old place at Forest Manor and it was New Year's Eve, but at the stroke of midnight, the world was also supposed to end. So there was a humongous free kiss concert in the big field across the street from us where the park is where the you know where they have the tennis court and the basketball hoops and well they didn't have basketball hoops when i was living there but i've seen it since since then and now those townhouses don't even exist anymore there's an apartment building that says 42 forest manor i'd like to visit the old neighborhood just to see what happened I know last time I took Dave there, the people living in our old, my old place had several cats. And all the years that we lived there, we weren't really allowed to have large pets. We had fish, we had budgies. We got Coco about a month before we moved, back in 83. Anyway, I'm kind of rambling on here. I, I'm excited about this upcoming Christmas. And I'm hoping that Jeanette and I can go to Niagara Falls for her 60th birthday. I don't know what we're going to be doing for mine. I'll be happy to go to Center Island for the day, if that's, that's all it takes. I don't have to go anywhere fancy overnight. I just, at least, as long as I ride a carousel, I'm a happy camper. My, I, I don't even remember what I did on my last birthday. Huh? It's weird. But... 60 is a big one. I don't even feel like I'm going to be 60. I feel like I'm still a teenager. Well, mentally, physically, my body sometimes tells me otherwise. Like the time I was going to jump on that mattress and I walked out onto it and my knees said, girl, this just ain't happening. Anyway, that's all I can think of to talk about. Bye for now. I'll be back soon. Thanks for watching Weekly Spiel.